Alright, I just picked this up the other day for a couple hundred. Got a double trailer. Two jet skis. They don't run. But the guy told me they were seized. Well, he told me one was seized and the starter and the other one was seized. But that one there, I, I got turning over pretty nice after about five minutes. This one here, I got turning over. We'll see what we got. This one here had the carb off of it. So this is the one that's supposed to run better. We'll see. This one I had to put a little bit of electronics back together. I only had it fingered tight. Uh, I think I can get it to spin even better than it did. But uh, what the problem with this one was, one the starter, it was this little button right here. When you pull that out, I can push the starter all the way in and get it to go. But when you do this, you can't. You can't start it, and I guess he forgot about that, and he thought the starter was locked up. It wasn't locked up, it was just that. He started tearing apart the whole thing. But, at least I got a carb kit out of that. And, this one's got the hydro turf. They need a little cleaning up. But, I think with a, with a battery or two, and some gas, and I'm probably going to pull the motors and put the block out, block off kits on them, and for the oil, and and the uh, drain plugs so I don't have to worry about blocking them off I mean uh, burning them up like that of course it, I gotta get them started first but I've only had them for a few days got some pretty nice tires on them I got a nice spare I'm gonna have a little little to do on the uh, on the bunk mounts but and I'm probably gonna throw some uh, I'm at least going to tear the bearings apart and take a look at them. Probably going to go to LED lights. I don't think they look too bad. They're a little dirty. I think with a little elbow grease and minimal cost, I'm going to have two fine running jet skis just like that one over there. If you remember my video from last year, this bad boy, this thing runs like a rape date. <laughs> but, uh, they look a little junky, but they run nice. There they are. Kawasaki uh, 750 SS. If I can get these two running, I'm going to have to start learning how to do a little fiberglass work with the gel coats and everything. There's my old uh, scuffer over there. That's a 72 Seacraft. Right there is the winter home of my lawn mowers. I busted them out of there. And I'll have to clean that up for the summer. We're just getting started though this year. Just sold the sold my 73 the other day. So I got a pocket full of cash to play with some toys. Oh, and here. Here we got my kayak that I picked up the other day. And I've added a couple things to it. I got a waterproof uh, rod holder there I installed. I got a clip for my paddle right there. I made myself a, a anchor dolly so I can run my anchor up and down. I still got to get a I gotta pick up a little hook so I can hook it right right down and right in there by the paddle so that it doesn't blow around in. I discovered today that I'm gonna be needing a drain plug. It doesn't have a drain plug. Because I figured I could just flip it over and dump the water out. But with these sides how they are, the water doesn't dump out so easy. <laughs> so Next thing I'll be doing is putting, the, finishing the uh, 
anchor trolley and installing a drain plug one end or the other. And I've been thinking about some kind of making up some kind of rudder just to make her track just a little better. She doesn't do too bad. I've been paddling things for quite a few years. But uh, there she is, my uh, wilderness system. Some of my toys. I don't have any bikes right now, but there's my 98. Just found out that I had a bad gas tank in that today. And that's where my evap leak was coming from. I my exhaust broke off and my heat shield had fallen down and it happened to break right where I guess maybe the exhaust hit the heat shield and it started melting my gas tank. I got a plastic gas tank in there. And when I filled it up you'd smell gas. It took me a little while to find it. I thought it was the uh seal around the sending unit. But when I dropped the tank Took me about 20 minutes to drop the tank, 10 minutes probably, and uh, found out it had a big old hole in it. There's the old truck. I haven't run that in a while. I'm just charging the battery up because I'm gonna have to run her until I get the uh, old Jeep on the road. This one's not pretty, but she usually runs pretty well. And this one, you can't complain about that. We've had this thing for 18 years, 225 some thousand miles on it. Runs like a top most of the time. <laughs> 